Gloria Stigney got her first toy sewing machine for Christmas when she was only six years old. And she's been sewing ever since. I've got to stay busy, okay? So I like, I like to be able to have the creative piece and be able to watch things come together and be able to have the finished product. But the machines she uses these days are a lot more sophisticated than that first toy. This is a computerized long arm quilter and the digitized designs then are loaded in the quilter and it works a lot like a CAD system. It's capable of stitching intricate designs and allows her to add that special touch to her quilt. So this is our American flag quilt and we have stitched the words then to God bless America then. Because of technology, quilting has come a long way since the old days of needle and thread. This is old world meets new world, and new world is taking off like a racehorse. And her machines are almost running nonstop. Last year we quilted 150 quilts. The most popular thing she makes. So they've sent us their favorite t-shirts here for Carolina. Are what she calls t-shirt quilts. And this is from High Point University. So this is a gentleman who's graduating this year. So this is a surprise for him. She can barely keep up with orders. It's been that way since the pandemic started. The phone started ringing and it's we're home during COVID and we're cleaning and we've been meaning to have a t-shirt quilt made. Can we send you our shirt? But she's best known for her Wake Forest University themed items. We have our line of fabric that is called Roll the Quad <laughs> and it has toilet paper in it. That's because the students traditionally roll the trees on campus when they win a big game. When COVID hit, who would have thought that oh. toilet paper would be the commodity? <laughs> and so, needless to say, it got some attention. Despite the pandemic, or maybe because of it, her business has been quite successful. It's growing. It's growing leaps and bounds. When it comes to quilts, she's got you covered. In Winston-Salem, look at Roy's folks. Chad Tucker, Fox A News.